Another transportation in plant is the transport of the products of photosynthesis inside the phloem. The transport of sugar or sucrose is by pressure flow hypothesis. Sugar is always transported in plant in the form of sucrose. And the transport of sucrose is always from the source to the sink. Source are any plant cell which produces sugar by photosynthesis. Sink, on the other hand, or any plant cell which uses the sugar or which convert the sugar into storage materials such as starch. First, we will discuss the event that occurred at the source. It starts with photosynthesis produced sugar or glucose which then converted into sucrose. Sucrose is then actively transported into component cell then into sieve tube. This process can occur either by passive or active transport. Passive transport will take place if the source cell has higher concentration of sucrose compared to the companion cell and the sieve tube. However, if the source cell has lower concentration of sucrose compared to the companion cell and the sieve tube, movement of sucrose will be by active transport. Next, accumulation of the sucrose inside the sieve tube will reduce water potential of the sieve tube and causes water to move from the xylem into the sieve tube down water potential gradient. Thus causes increase in hydrostatic pressure inside the sieve tube. At sink, sucrose will be removed from the sieve tube into component cell and then into the sink cell by passive transport. The low concentration of sucrose inside the sink is maintained by sucrose being continuously used in cellular respiration and being converted into starch. Due to the removal of sucrose from the sieve tube, the sieve tube now has higher water potential compared to the xylem. So, water will be removed from the sieve tube back into xylem down water potential gradient and reduces the hydrostatic pressure inside the sieve tube. As we can see, now inside the sieve tube, there is difference in hydrostatic pressure between the source and sink. As a result, sucrose will flow in mass from high hydrostatic pressure region to low hydrostatic pressure region. That is how sucrose is transported inside the phloem via pressure flow hypothesis.